it's Art Style Day again. Today we're gonna create the uh, blah, 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 the analog painting art style. I'm super excited and so curious how this looks in game. Hopefully my painting skills are good enough. Let's try. Okay, here I'm starting to paint, just putting some colors on the canvas. Trying to fill the area really quick. I'm not trying to create some sort of masterpiece, just a neutral and somewhat interesting background I can use for my game. So every time I'm at a state that I'm happy with, I take photos that I can use later on. So that's basically like saving my progress. So if at some point I mess up the painting and it looks shitty, then at least I've got the pictures of the unshitty state, so I don't need to be scared to break anything. Just experimenting, getting my hands dirty and trying not to get my pullover dirty as well. Adding more and more paint. And now I'm trying to create uh, a grass texture with some small sharp objects. Just making a couple of riffles into the painting. I'm really curious to see how this will look in game at this point. Obviously by now I know. <laughs> Spoiler, it won't work, but doesn't look that bad kind of interesting texture. So here I'm getting a bit crazy using some sugar to create some grass texture, some corny texture or at least that was the idea. Spoiler, it didn't work. <laughs> here I'm running to the bathtub getting rid of all the sugar and you can see the final texture doesn't look like grass at all. It looks more like crystals and uh, ugly slime. Now it's time to paint the other sprites we need. And for that I've got a big white paper. Oh, thanks for explaining Jonas from the past. Let me take over again. So here I'm creating a butterfly because first of all I wanted the player creatures to be butterflies that but then I remembered how the dragon's art style went and realized oops, maybe I shouldn't make animals explode anymore so I came up with a couple of different ideas I could use just some flowers and leaves and maybe seeds uh, that are blown around by the wind also painting some enemies in black it's grizzly dizzle very nice Okay then, the painting part is done, so it's time to transfer all the files over to my PC and then we're gonna have a look at them. Importing images to my PC, yeah! And realizing that the resolution is pretty bad. So I can probably not use the background texture because the resolution is just too low there's too much grizzle the dizzle which is pretty sad here I am cutting out the other sprites they are a lot nicer because I made really close up photos of them hell yeah some color correction uh. Just repeating the same process over and over again Cutting out images Cutting them out And animating this spider Thingy creature stuff By moving the arms Up and down Cutting out sprites Cutting out sprites Just cutting out sprites Now in theory, here are all the graphics we need. I finished them. Now let's go into Game Maker. Uh, uh. 
oh, the background is so ugly. Oh no, oh my god. Such a bad quality. Guess what? Now we're back to programming. Maybe I should stop singing and start talking again. Otherwise I could piss some people off. To the next round, choosing a background. Just using grey for now. Can you hear the sound? The yellow things are round. This is It's time to fix the background. I borrowed a cam from my friend who has a really good photo camera. Thank you! Let's take some pictures of this and also I want to create another background that fits this style a bit more. Not, not as noisy as this one, just a couple of clean brush strokes. You know, I want my background to be a bit more backgroundy. Okay, even though this was really funny, I think I need to stop it now. Um, here I'm just painting another green background. A bit more neutral, as I've just said. Just a couple of brush strokes and taking some photos with a better camera. Now let's see if these backgrounds are a little better. Once again, importing the photos, opening one of them in Photoshop, I guess. Where is it? Here, okay. And just giving it a bit nicer color, doing some color correction as always. Just saving a couple different versions so I can try them in Game Maker. And going back into Game Maker, trying the bright green background first, but the problem with that is that you can't really see the leaves all that well anymore. So that's why I probably try this bluish one next. Also black and white one, also looks kind of alright. Oh no, the groovy mu music is gone, now I can't rap and sing anymore. <laughs> uh, that's probably for the better. <laughs> Just watch at these beautiful flowers, slowly starting to look like something. I animated the flowers, so they have a grow animation now. And I settled on the dark blue background. Try even darker, but that's definitely too dark. You can't really see the enemies anymore. So I try a couple more versions, but I think that's the one I stick with. Obviously doing a lot of playtesting as always. Here I'm experimenting with the feedback. What happens if you put the flowers too close to each other? Do they change their color? Or do they get darker? And I finally decided, no, they don't do anything because that looks shit. And maybe I'll find a way to give some feedback for how fast plants are growing in the future. But for now, I think it looks best if they all look somewhat similar and don't change their color in a weird way. Also, I wasn't quite happy with the flower, so I chose a dif different one, a more roundish one. So fits the flying seeds a bit better. Here I'm trying the dragon art style backgrounds because you never know, maybe that works. As you can see, there's not a lot changing anymore. I'm really just 
uh, polishing a little bit, adding some details, for example, uh, smoothing the edges of those seats a bit, and also adding a little jiggle animation to them, adding some particles. Okay, playthrough time! So, I have these cute little flowers and this weird spider creatures are trying to get them. I will not allow that. As always, uh, figuring out which background to use was the hardest part. I'm still not quite happy with the background. I don't know if it fits the style of the other sprites. But I'm pretty happy with, with the other sprites. Maybe I need uh, smaller brush strokes or something like that. Or maybe an even more neutral background. Maybe this has still too much noise. Something's off with the background. Let's just keep it, keep it at that. So if I continue with this art style, I will definitely have another look at the background. The other sprites work relatively well. Okay, <laughs> here's where the levels start to get at least a little bit challenging. So let's see how this goes. level final challenge Okay, I did it. As always, leave your feedback in the comments. This was another amazing art style day. There's only one more to go. So, tell me what you think. Very curious which art style we're gonna choose. Gonna be a hard decision, probably. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for being here. Have an amazing day. Make the world your playground and see you next time.